Welcome to Liberty Revealed, the only show where you will learn about all things liberty. Your host for the show is a registered libertarian who's been involved in politics for more than 25 years. He has a passion for teaching others about the concept of personal liberty. Please welcome your host, Mike Mahoney. Hi, everyone. So this is Mike Mahoney, and I'm here with R.J. Cutler for another episode of Liberty Revealed. This episode is slightly different than our other episodes in that we are talking to the creator and executive producer of the Oval Office Tapes. Thanks for being here, RJ. My great pleasure. Thanks for having me. So if you don't mind, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your background? My background? I'm an American citizen, and uh, I'm from Long Island, New York. Awesome. So what inspired you to create the Oval Office Tapes? Well, I uh, like so many other so many of my fellow American citizens, I uh I found myself in the wake of Donald Trump's election uh um compelled not only by the events in the news but also by the narrative uh and and curious uh, what was going on behind the headlines. You know, we all are collecting our news from whatever sources we rely on, but uh but none of us really know what conversations are taking place in the Oval Office, on the telephones in the White House and in in the rooms where it happens, as Lynn Miranda would say. And uh and and I thought wouldn't it be great to be able to actually listen in on those conversations and that's what led to the Oval Office Tapes, which is a podcast we drop every Friday and people can download it from uh Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your favorite shows and uh, and listen in on a weekly basis. This week, for instance, you could listen to Elizabeth Warren calling the president and looking for her million dollars because she took her DNA test and getting uh, – Getting schooled, I will tell you, by the president in uh, in how to how to take him on properly in a in a political campaign, and or you could listen to uh, Ivanka Trump uh, uh, in recent episodes uh, trying to persuade her dad that maybe it's time to replace Mike Pence on the uh, president on the as as the vice president in the next election uh, with her, um, or you might listen in as. Uh, Rudy Giuliani approaches the First Lady and uh, explains to her that it's time to negotiate a contract extension. Uh, there are all sorts of things that go on in, uh, in the White House, and uh, those who are curious have a chance to listen now. So what is your process for producing an episode? Well, we do it in real time, man. We, we, um, we get together. I'm working with three brilliant writers, and, uh, and, and the four of us get together every Monday morning, and we uh, kick around ideas. And, you know, the thing that we're, we're really looking for is, is, is what resonates is true. And, and what's startling is how many of the things that we've kind of written about that we thought were maybe pushing the envelope a little bit came, turned out to be true. I mean, we had the president on the phone with Kanye West two weeks before he invited him over to the White House. And we had the, the, um, uh, Donald Trump Jr. launching the he, hashtag He Too movement uh, two weeks before before the He Too movement took off in this country. I mean, it was it's really we're I, I, and it's not that we're trying to predict the future. It's just like I guess when you're it, kind of tuned in the way that we are, you you start to see how things are playing out clearly. And since all of the Trump administration is playing out in a in a way kind of. In, in, a, in an absurdist universe, just because of who President Trump is and what a disruptor he is, really, um, we're, we're finding that a lot of stuff we, th- we, we want to write about then comes out to be true. So on Monday, we get together, we kick around ideas. By Tuesday afternoon, we have a first draft of our episode, which is uh, 30 minutes long. And by Wednesday night, we're, we're We've refined it and rewritten it, and Thursday we tape it, and Friday we drop it, and you guys get to download it and enjoy it. So what has the overall reaction been to your show? Uh, terrific. I mean, r- terrific from, from, from all sides of the political spectrum, and we're thrilled. We, uh, we are getting tens of thousands of downloads a week. We are growing exponentially with each, um, with each uh, a week's uh, release. We, uh, um, we're here at Politicon, and everywhere we go, a member of our team goes. People are recognizing us, to, you know, calling out to us. We're, we're, we're all wearing uh, 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 Oval Office podcast T-shirts and, uh, 
and uh, we're, we're, you know, the response has been great, and people are super enthusiastic. We're, our ratings are, are very high. We're already uh, preparing for a second season, and, and uh, we were excited that uh, starting a couple of weeks ago, a, a number of television outlets have reached out to us in an effort to, um, to, to see if we could translate the show to television, which we're very confident we can do. So have you received any specific criticism regarding the show? Uh, you know, a couple people have said to me, uh, is it too soon? Uh, we, uh, um, the president calls Alex Jones this week and asks for his advice on how to, how to cover up uh, for Saudi Arabia. And Alex Jones weaves a, a, a whole bunch of preposterous conspiracy theories that the president considers. I mean, I shouldn't judge them. Who am I to judge? Al Who am I to say that Alex Jones is a raving lunatic? Well, uh, anyway, um, uh, so so uh, and, and, and somebody at dinner to me, last night said to me, is it is it too soon? Is it too soon? I, I, you know, we don't we don't think anything's too soon. We think it's time. Uh, the time to confront is in the moment. And that's what we do. So obviously my podcast is called Liberty Revealed. So I wanted to ask you, what does liberty mean to you? Oh gosh, I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it sounds like it's a code word. Uh, uh, what does liberty mean to me? Um, liberty means freedom. Liberty means uh, uh, that's it. So do you think you'd be able to apply this concept of the Oval Office tapes to future administrations who occupy? Uh, the Oval Office, or do you think perhaps because of the train wreck that is the Trump administration that maybe it's limited? No, and I, I don't uh, – yeah, I think you could do this uh, under any circumstance. I, don't you want to hear – wouldn't you have liked to have heard what was going on in the the Clinton White House or the – or any of the Bush White Houses or or in the, in future in Ivanka's White House? Sure, I'd, I'd like to hear what's, what's – uh, What's going on all the time? That's my look. You asked what my background is. I, uh, um, among other things, I made a number of political documentaries: uh, The War Room, A Perfect Candidate, The World According to Dick Cheney. So I, I'm a guy who's fascinated by the, what the, the 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 narrative that plays out in the landscape of of political, um, you know, of the the political battlefield in this country, and I, and the stories around it. And I've been I've been fascinated by it my whole life and also my whole career. So um, so, yeah, I think you could apply this. Um, I'll tell you what liberty isn't, by the way. Liberty isn't cutting off the fingers of a journalist. Liberty isn't the, the, the covering up the slaughter of, of, uh, of, of somebody who's practicing the principles of a free press. That is not liberty. And people should be uh, outraged beyond imagining at what has happened in recent days and weeks uh, uh, surrounding the uh, events in, uh, in Turkey uh, as a result of the, the uh, crown prince of Saudi Arabia's behavior. I completely agree with you on that. Do you personally listen to podcasts yourself? Uh, sure. I, you know, we, I, I, have, I, have my, uh, I have my faves. I mostly catch up on my news by listening to podcasts. So, uh, um, you know, because the audio is good enough. So when I'm, when I'm exercising, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm going through the daily shows. So what are some of your favorites? I listen to what's, – what's it called? What's your – the Liberty, Liberty pod. I, live, li I listen to Liberty Revealed religiously. <laughs> That's awesome. Liberty. That's Liberty. <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I look forward to mo another season of the Oval Office Tapes. I really enjoy it. Uh, it makes me laugh. Excellent. Well, I'm glad. And uh, we hope that we're making you laugh in part because we're, uh, we're telling truths and speaking truth to power. And uh, we really appreciate your support. Thanks for listening to Liberty Revealed, the show where you learn about all things liberty. Please visit the show's website at yogispodcastnetwork.com backslash LR, where you can reach out to Mike directly with your questions and comments. Again, that is yogispodcastnetwork.com backslash LR.